Man, she is so cool. So different from everyone else I've met. She's beautiful, she's down to earth, she's fun. It's been forever since I met someone I'm this excited about. Finally, I have someone where we're both into each other. At least I hope so. She seems into me. Wow, I really hope so. She's so amazing, I'm gonna text her right now. Keep you cool, man. Should I send her a picture? Eh, probably not. Just a nice text. Hey you, good morning. Hope you slept well. Such a great time connecting with you last night. Can't wait until we get a chance to meet up again. I just have to say you're so different from everyone else I've met. You're beautiful, down to earth, fun. I feel really good about us. Nah, it's sharing way too much. Stay cool. Hey you, good morning, hope you slept well. Good morning, handsome. I slept great. Probably oversharing here, but... I just have to say, you're so different from everyone else I've met. You're hot, down to earth, fun. I can feel myself really excited about us. Thank you for being you, and I'm looking forward to getting together soon. Okay. I'm in love. I love that. It is so fun when you're on the same page with someone in a relationship. And it's normal to hold back a little bit in the beginning of a relationship. You know, you don't want to get rejected. You don't want to scare off the other person. So today I'm going to share with you five secret thoughts your man has when he's totally into you. Check it out. Hey there, my name is Matt Boggs, and I'm the co-founder of the Love and Relationship Division of the Brave Thinking Institute, where our mission is increasing love in the world one heart at a time. And so every week we bring you in videos to empower you in your love life. So if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you get the notifications so you can get the latest and greatest videos. All right, let's dive in. Number one, your man will think, you can't get rid of me that easily. And I love this because in a relationship, there are moments in time where we get scared. One of the two of you will get scared. The person who gets scared will often push the other person away and say, this isn't working out or saying, I don't think we should see each other. But when you both know that you like each other, your man's gonna stand strong for you. He's gonna fight for you. And this is exactly what Nori Lynn posted in this community. Check this out. Nori writes this, I told them that I'm getting vulnerable around him and that we should stop talking he said, nope, you can't get rid of me easily like that because I'm gonna stick around and annoy you. I'm speechless. I love that post because it's so true. When your man knows that you like him and he likes you, when you get scared or you have a blunder or you push him away a little bit, that's not gonna scare him off. He's gonna stand strong. He's gonna fight for you. He's gonna fight for that relationship. And he's gonna think the thought, nope, you can't scare me off. I'm in this with you. And that reaffirms the belief, the philosophy that you can't scare away the right guy. It's really hard to screw up the right thing. So if you have a little blunder or you'd say maybe the wrong thing or you don't show up in the perfect way, know this, the right relationship can overcome those blunders. And here's the cool thing, when you come from that mindset that it's hard to screw up the right thing, it helps you relax. So you can be more yourself and you can have just a whole lot more fun when you're dating. Number two, your man will think, oh yeah, watch me. And instead of you trying to push him away, this is where you tell him about a challenge that lies ahead that he probably won't be able to overcome. You challenge him where you say, you know, I've got this flaw or I'm in this circumstance or I'm facing this thing like I'm going to school and I'm not gonna be able to spend a lot of time with you. You're probably gonna get bored. You're probably gonna to wanna to just go and date other women. You're probably not gonna stick around like other guys have in the past. When you challenge him like that, there is this resolve that rises up in him and he thinks to himself when he really likes you, oh yeah, watch me. And this is exactly what happened with my wife and I. 
My wife, even though she was in her 20s when we met and started dating, she was still living at home in a very traditional Mexican home. And so she told me, she was like, look, you're used to dating women who live on their own, who have a lot more freedom than I do. And we can't spend the night at each other's houses. At least now we can't, uh, we're limited in what we can do. And you're probably gonna get bored. You're probably gonna bail just like other guys have. And because you won't be able to put up with the limitations that I have. I remember exactly where I was years ago when she said that to me. And I remember exactly what happened inside. This resolve rose up and I thought the thought, oh yeah? watch me. And she was right. It was tough. It was way tougher than dating other women who had their own place, who had all kinds of freedom. And I can remember months in, you know, her not being able to come and visit because her dad wouldn't let her or something like that. And me feeling so fed up and so frustrated with that. But then reconnecting to that commitment that I had made to myself that says, look, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to be better than all these other guys. I'm going to rise to the moment. And it caused me to recommit and I leaned in and I'm so glad that I did because it led to the greatest relationship of my life. So when your man likes you and you present him with a challenge and say, I don't know if you can overcome this, he's gonna think, oh yeah, watch me. Number three, your man will think to himself, oh man, I'm in trouble. When your man is falling in love with you and he knows that he doesn't have control over his heart how he feels about you, regardless of how slow he tells himself he's gonna take this relationship, he can feel himself falling in love with you and he knows he's vulnerable because he knows if you reject him or if you don't wanna move forward in the relationship, it's gonna devastate him. That's when he thinks, oh man, I am in trouble with this girl, I'm in trouble with this woman. And sometimes a man will actually share this and, and tell you this. And that's exactly in the case of Jolanda. Jolanda in our community posted this not too long ago. She writes, when I told him I was afraid to get my heart broken, he told me he was also afraid to get his heart broken. He said that we should just take the chance together and have faith. Now, one year later, I'm so happy we're still together making future plans. I love that because Jolanda is with a man who's totally in being totally vulnerable and falling in love with her. Now, if you want to attract a man who's totally in, who adores you, who cherishes you, who wants to create this beautiful relationship with you, then I've got a resource for you that will really, really help. I'll post a link in the description, and this resource is to a program called Manifest Your Man, where every month I work with a group of women, taking them through a proven process for how to call in the relationship they want. We can work together directly. If that is on your heart, if that calls to you, Click that link, check out that program, because I think you're gonna love it. Number four, when your guy really likes you, he's thinking in his head, I hope she likes this. Because here's the deal, when your man plans a date for you, when he's gonna take you out, he's gonna take you to a restaurant, or he's gonna do something for you, while he's acting really cool on the surface, he's acting smooth, he's got it all together, inside, there's a part of him that's freaking out. There's a part of him that really hopes that you like it. And he's banking on that. Because remember, a man's worth is directly tied to his productivity. And productivity in a relationship is how is he helping you to create happiness? How is he producing a happy experience for you? So your response to the date, your response to the restaurant, your response to what he's creating for you is huge when it comes to how he feels about himself in this relationship. When I was dating this woman in my 20s, I flew her out. We were a long distance relationship. I flew her to Oregon. We we're gonna spend a week together. Midweek, I had a plan that was super cool. And I really hoped that she liked it. And I told her I was gonna take her to the beach. And so we jump in the car, we drive out to the beach. We're at Seaside, Oregon. We're, we're doing the bumper cars. We're doing mini golf, having a great time. And then it's kind of getting late in the day. And I say, you know what? Instead of heading home, why don't we stay at this hotel? And she was like, well, that would be cool, but I don't have any of my stuff. And I said, don't worry about it. I actually packed your stuff while you were doing breakfast and I have it in the trunk. And she was like, what? I had snuck in, packed up her bag, packed an outfit, some jammies, shoes, the whole thing, and her get ready stuff. And so we check into this hotel, it's beautiful. We're gonna go have dinner. And so uh, we get ready and she's going to get her shoes and she comes into the bathroom. She's like, Matt, 
are these the only shoes you packed for me? And it was, they were both black high heels, but they were two different black high heels. They weren't even the same shoe. And in the haste of getting ready, they were in the closet. It was kind of dark. I couldn't, I couldn't see which one was which. They looked similar, but at least it was a left and right foot. But I was like, so she's like, Matt, you packed two different high heels for me. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, babe, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I was trying to get it together. And now she could have made a huge deal out of that and she could have helped me feel even worse. I was already feeling like that was a failure, me not getting the right shoes. But what she did in that moment was brilliant. She said, okay, I'm gonna wear these shoes. She put both shoes on, different shoes, and she walked into that restaurant and looking like a million bucks anyway. And it really made for a great night. So just know this, when your man plans something, for you, whether it's a weekend away, an overnight stay, or whether it's a little hike, inside he's really hoping that you like it and he's really hoping that it brings you happiness. And this brings us to number five, which is I have to share this with her. When a man is totally into you, he has to share the experiences that he likes with you. Why? Because experiences are so much more rich, so much more valuable when we're able to share them with somebody that we love. And Ingrid in our community posted an exact example of this. Check this out. Ingrid posted this. She says, we live at a distance. So one evening I was at the gym when I got an unexpected text. Sky! The sunset was gorgeous and he wanted to share it with me. That one word made me smile the whole night. Sky! I love that. Imagine this with me. A guy watching the sunset, thinking to himself, that is so beautiful. And what happens, the next thought is, I have to share this with her. So he gets on his phone, he texts his girl, he says, sky, and she looks out, and just knowing that she's watching that same sunset makes the sunset even more beautiful. When we share beautiful moments with people that we love, they become more rich, more full, more beautiful. This is why when your man loves something, whether it's a video game and you're like, why are you sharing this video game with me? If he loves it, he's gonna wanna share it with you, whether it's a game or sports or a hobby or the sky. And so my question for you is if you wanna attract a man who's thinking these thoughts about you, who's wanting to share these moments with you and you would love some support with that, go ahead and click the link and check out the Manifest Your Man program. And my question for you is this, what thoughts have men shared with you when they're totally into you? Go ahead and post those thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.